Neighborhoods along Mountain Island Lake in Northwest Charlotte are under mandatory evacuation orders tonight. Many homes are almost completely underwater as emergency management officials anticipate flooding to only get worse. Our Queen City News reporter Taylor Young spoke with homeowners there who slowly watched their homes disappear under floodwaters. Most of these people are in some kind of form of shock and a combination of shock and PTSD. Um, they really can't believe it's happened again. Murky lake water rising above the windows of several homes along Lake Drive in Charlotte. One man using a canoe to get from his home to dry land. And I went to bed around midnight and when I woke up this morning at six and looked out, it had come up another four, four or five feet, which was astonishing to me. Eric Gendrison lost his home in this very same neighborhood to flooding five years ago. He rebuilt, but this time 12 feet higher off the ground. Now he watches floodwaters come nearly two feet away from his first floor. A good deal of anxiety and, and concern about if this is going to rise anymore. For others, it's too late. It's devastating. It's, these houses are a complete loss. Ben Hogan came to this neighborhood to support his friends who live on Riverside Drive. Just yesterday, he was helping move their belongings. We actually packed up their whole first floor and moved it to the second, but it looks like that's still not even going to be enough. Despite days of mandatory evacuation orders, as of 2 o'clock Saturday afternoon, fire crews say at least two people have refused to leave their property. Now, while crews cannot force them to leave. We are being told that they would have to conduct a risk analysis to determine whether or not at this point it would be safe enough to rescue them. My heart goes out for them and definitely need to say a prayer um, that they're that, that they're returned back to their family, you know, safe. As floodwaters continue to rise, so do the crowd of people standing along the roadway that has now become a shrinking shore. It doesn't matter what political affiliation, what color you are, people seem to come together in a natural disaster and the good in people come out and the, the willing to help the community and just doing, you know, what you need to do to, to help your neighbor. For those now unable to return to their homes, the Tuckasee Rec Center has become an emergency center. Reporting in Charlotte, Taylor Young, Queen City News.